Welcome! Today we'll be going through a functional equation from the Canadian Maths Olympiad 2002. Determine all functions from the non-negative integers to the non-negative integers such that x multiplied by f of y plus y multiplied by f of x is equal to x plus y multiplied by f of x squared plus y squared. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Try plugging in standard substitutions such as x equals zero, y equals zero, x equals y, etc, etc. Can you guess what the possible functions might look like? Hint number two f of x equals c, where c is some non-negative integer constant, clearly works. How might you go about showing that f must be a constant function? Hint number three. Suppose we want to arrive at a contradiction when f of y is greater than f of x for some x and y. Note that if we do arrive at a contradiction, this means that f must be a constant function. And so we'll be done. How might this contradiction arise? Hint number four. Consider using the extremal principle. So suppose there exists some x and y such that f of y is greater than f of x. And let m equal to f of y minus f of x, and let m be minimal. So take the smallest positive integer m for which there exist x and y satisfying m equal to f of y minus f of x. Now how might a contradiction arise? Hint number five. Try showing that f of x is less than f of something is less than f of y. What is a good option for f of something? Perhaps take some expression from the question. Solution. We will claim that the only solutions are constant solutions. So f of x is equal to c, where c is some non-negative integer. Clearly c can't be negative as the function is defined on the non-negative integers to the non-negative integers. First, we will show that these solutions work. Now, plugging in f of x equal to c into our original equation, we get that on the left hand side, we have x plus y multiplied by c. And on the right hand side, we have x plus y multiplied by c. And so f of x equal to c is the solution. Now we will show you that these are the only solutions to the functional equation. For the sake of contradiction, suppose there exist some x and y such that f of y is greater than f of x. Let m equal to f of y minus f of x and let m be minimal. So take the smallest positive integer m for which there exist x and y satisfying m equal to f of y minus f of x. Then we can rewrite f of x as x plus y multiplied by f of x divided by x plus y, which, since f of x is less than f of y, is less than x times f of y plus y times f of x divided by x plus y, which is equal to f of x squared plus y squared. Doing a similar thing on f of y, we get that f of y is equal to x times f of y plus y times f of y divided by x plus y, which is greater than x times f of y 
plus y times f of x over x plus y, which is equal to f of x squared plus y squared. So we get that f of x is less than f of x squared plus y squared, which is less than f of y. Contradicting the fact that m is minimal, as we will get that f of y minus f of x squared plus y squared is a positive integer less than m. So the fact that we arrived at a contradiction means that there do not exist x and y such that f of y is greater than f of x, which means that f of y is equal to f of x for all x and y, and so f must be a constant function, and so we are done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below, and see you next time.